In this tutorial for Libre Atom 3D, we're going to cover the basics of the, the workspace windows that are pretty applicable to, to all the different kinds of workspaces in the Libre Atom 3D. So they're all made up of the same components. The biggest component that you see is referred to as the canvas. It's also called the work area or any number of other things, but this is where your, your model or your 2D drawing is actually displayed. It's where you interact with and you create new things um, and, and lots of other kinds of interaction. So that's this big thing here. Uh, on the left, you'll see what's referred to as the Design Explorer. And this is where you can access things like the default reference geometry. Uh, you'll notice as I hover over these and click them, they actually get selected in the work area. Um, so that's thing number one to know about this is you can pick things from this window uh, and they will they will select the according uh, the appropriate thing. And the next thing is, as you build up your design, you're going to see the recipe for your design shown here. And right now it's blank. Um, we don't have anything under features, but as we start to create new designs, this section is going to expand and it's going to show us the recipe for the design as well as allow us to kind of go back in time and make edits at any time that we want. So you're going to spend a lot of time uh, in the Design Explorer once we start making a model. The next section is the ribbon at the top. And the ribbon at the top is displayed in uh, multiple tabs. The first one we have is the Part Modeling tab, Viewing and Analysis, and then Add-ons. By and large, you're going to spend 95% of your time uh, in the part modeling area. And uh, this is a dynamic window. So depending on what you're doing, the options uh, may change. So a good example of that is if we were to go into sketch mode, you'll see I have a new uh, option at the top called 2D Sketching, which shows me all the tools available just for sketch mode and it goes away if I leave sketch mode. So that's uh, the basic overview of how these windows are laid out. Um, in the drawing section, you'll see a drawing explorer with different drawing related tools at the top in an assembly workspace. You'll see an assembly explorer with different uh, assembly related tools at the top. And that's just kind of how this is laid out. 